pretty convincing if you are Dignitas. For Immortals, you have a really close game against Cloud9, as we highlighted in the previous game, where they won up in overtime uh, against Tens and Friends in the Renegades tournament. But since then, they've had a couple of more darker moments. They haven't really been able to find that success. And of course, they lost to Exit on this map in the last qualifiers that eliminated them. It is going to be Dignitas attacking first. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Sam has been exceptional on the rain there, so I'd be surprised if he didn't lock it in. But I did want to mention Odorous as well. It's been really good on the jet, but I don't really think had the same amount of impact on the raise. Certainly when you compare it to Gangster, who played raise on split, now going back over to the Sova. Standard comps for both sides. Yeah, the expectation was that it would be mirror matchups, with the only exception being the preference of Sentinel between the Killjoy and the Cypher. The only other thing to really kind of potentially consider was the fact that Shot Up in the past has actually pulled out the Phoenix. But again, just as much as you've credited Solm for playing the Reyna throughout this tournament so far, the same could be said for Shot Up. So as they lock in, those will be the expected lineups as we came in. They will be the lineups that we get confirmed, actually, as we do load in. So... For Dig coming forward, they're going to have the offense first. And for Dig and Hole, when you take a look at how they've played Haven, they have been slightly more successful on the attack, if you want to talk about statistics overall. And for Immortals, they're essentially 50-50 on both of their sides. So, again, I, I, I hate to kind of use statistics in this one to frame up the match because I feel like we're just going to get essentially a blind battle between these two squads. It's going to be... An absolute insane matchup between these two teams to try to determine who gets qualified with the win here and who will have to fight for their life one last time in that battle for the fifth and sixth overall qualifier spots uh, coming up in that loser semifinal matchup. And there's been already a few upsets today. Genji losing to FaZe, FaZe losing to Moon Raccoons, which I don't yeah. think was really that much of a surprise. But Moon Raccoons qualifying to the close qualifiers. Like, that's a good sign. They looked really good and went up against the 100 Thieves to get knocked out there, but... That's another universe entirely at this point. I like the crossfire that Immortals have set up when it comes to B. They're expected to hit there very early on. But it seems that they're just going to be sort of checking these angles. And yet again, playing for retakes by playing off of the sites completely. Well, the Aldrin will catch some information. Nano Swarm for death will actually give the consideration for Immortals. This is going to be a B execute, but that's not the case at all. That Nano Swarm is just bait. This is all going to be happening over towards C. The spy cam's dealt with, doesn't find any information whatsoever. Supa's already on the site with a couple of friends. And while you still also have Death playing mid-map, he finds the kill. This rotation for Immortals is going to be really hard-pressed to come through cleanly. And Death can just play his life. Immortals have to clear out Garage before they can even attempt the retake. Position of Death is the key thing, though, holding on to Garage. He's not letting Immortals take it through. They have made their way onto site of Immortals. Everybody's rap. playing off of it completely, so this could be a bit of a problem, especially the fact that Death has gone on a massive lurk. He's orbiting around. Gangster getting a kill onto Makalov. Suddenly, Dignitas don't look as comfortable here. They've got multiple people peeking, but they're just getting down one by one. Now it's just this lurk from Death that's at least making oh. its way around, but the spike was defused. Dignitas made their way onto the site so well, but that post plan was miles away from where it needed to be. Oh man, it is just such a tough angle right there. Dig was hoping that they could stall off the diffuse for long enough to get death into the mix. They nearly do it, but it's just not clean enough as Immortals break on through. A lot of trust that if death makes his presence known from C Garage, they could deal with it quickly. But as he comes through the unexpected angle, if he maybe catches that kill just a touch sooner on the gangsta, maybe you can finesse the clock long enough, but it was already halfway to fuse and Immortals still had numbers to find the trade. So a beautiful retake for Immortals and a slightly missed opportunity for Dig. As this time, the early recon bolt for gangsta will be sent out through a lobby, not going to find any information. And Dignitas with four members are going to stack up as they once again trust Depth to lurk over through B. Gangsta trying to hold his ground as much as possible. He's going to have them line up perfectly, but he can only get one before he's traded out. JMO and Shut Up are going to have a piece of the pie there. And it is yet again just up to Death that has given his presence known towards mid on the lurk again, and he gets a second. These are nice shots with the Sheriff. But the spike is over on A. It's on lockdown with Immortals. They are pressing up, and this could be an opening for Death if he checks to his right hand side. JMO is holding super close. He looks away. Unfortunate, really. There wasn't too much to expect from Death, just all on his own. But it's scary if you're immortals because that knocks the economy that you've built up. 
And beyond that, now you've got an early lockdown with a weapon advantage that very well could come into play here for round number three to get Dignitas's offense going. But this read from Gangsta is incredible. And again, look at the help. You've got your you got shot up right there with you've got JMO up top. They both combined for the last three kills. Beautiful hold overall, and the gamble stack for Immortals does pan out. But again, it is costly off of the following kills from Death with the Sheriff. So take a look at how this is going to pan out arsenal-wise. Huge advantage for Dig off of all ARs where Immortals can really only afford to light by behind even the two successful round wins that they've had so far. So as the Aldrin will be sent out for Dig, they're looking to find some information. Shot up looking to get aggressive. He will think the better of it as he realizes there is one contestant up close and personal. And with that, it looks like Immortals will have to reposition exactly what they want to do defensively as they read a number of members in the middle of the map. Yeah, Dignitas can't really get a hold of this because Immortals are just facing them with these kind of guns. Gangster even dedicating a bit of utility just to scan him off a little, but he actually does take a big chunk of damage from Maka's shock dart. They're fixated on these players that there might be an opening towards Elon, but that recon bolt is going to show up a little bit of information. Neptune could grab the rest for himself by getting face deep into Dignitas. The recon bot's not going to find too much on the attacking side, and Immortals are dealing well with this considering they have the lesser guns. And Dignitas, without that recon bolt, is going to be really hard-pressed as it looks like they want to commit to A. There's only 37 seconds left. You're going to have to commit here. The recon bolt will be up just in time? I mean, I say that with a question mark left. because it, you're going to be hard-pressed if you don't cleanly get these kills to get the spike plotted if you're waiting for the execute off the recon bolt. You do have a leer that's available. Odorous is going to come through. The paranoia is also there, but Immortal still stands strong. Unbelievable hold for IMT. Makalov, the last one left alive, can't even get through the dark cover. Neptune will find his third kill, and these are free weapon upgrades for Immortals. Now really starting to snowball their defensive half here on Haven. Immortals just playing multiple off angles that even though the paranoia that comes out of supper manages to hit people on site, there are still other people that can train and protect them. Immortals were set up there for so long and Dignitas did have the freedom to rotate around, but we saw this before with Spot Up just waiting there playing patiently and Immortals just doesn't buy into it. They'll play retake on the other sites, but they're going to be facing on this map on the A site specifically. And again, the economy is very much going to be in their favor now, starting to build up a lead. And Dignitas, who I think have been the team leading for the majority of this, that looked the better squad overall, keep behind now. Shot up is still trusting this stinger. I'm not sure how he didn't find a weapon upgrade last round, but he still makes use of it. And in what is an all-sheriff round for the most part here for Dig, it's not going all that well. These tap shots still good for Shot Up as he switches over to the Ghost finally. Neptune by himself. Defensively at C, he finds one. Reads the second. Classic coming through. The jump shot is great. One more nearby. He's going to confirm that one too. Why not? Immortals expected to take the round, but clean performance there from Neptune to hold on and not allow Dignitas to plant. He's eight and one. We're five rounds into it, and he's just styling on these guys. Maka kind of whipping his shots, and even shot just going with the ghost at that point to finalize that kill. But we saw Neptune doing this as well in the spot-up game, just holding in this similar position. The recon bolts coming out of Gangsta, giving him so many assists, but he didn't need them then. Now, again, Odorous is 0 and 4, going to be picking up the operator. Now would be a great time to at least start to get some first kills. And they're actually going to pick up the pace, push aggressively, and they're going to run right into JMO on a pixel perfect dangle. That's a nice, easy frag. And the rotations come in, but A's not being hit. And I think they're going to realize that a lot of utility sent over towards the C garage lockdown is placed. But again, like you had mentioned from a couple of maps previously, this is going to be pretty easily understood that this is just bait. And a couple of the trades will happen mid map. It'll keep things to a 3v3. Immortals for the defense have the opportunity for a Hunter's Fury, and they've got an Empress. And shot up playing at a very unconventional angle. We'll find Def and Gangsta actually confirmed some damage onto one player over towards C. So now a 3v2 for Immortals. They will have to retake as Supa gets the spike down. He puts it in the back corner, but there's really not an opportunity here for Dignitas to exit over to C long, so they're going to have to hold this from the front. The read is going to be there. Paranoia will be converted as JC Standy throws it through. Empress now in the mix. The recon bolt finding a ton of value on the player on top of the site. And as the first kill comes through for shot up, it's just down to Supa. He can't combine for two. And an easy defuse comes through and Immortals still stay perfect defensively. And that all came from Immortals just sort of reading the aggressive play. JMO goes down. The killjoy comes through. 
But the middle players for Immortals, the ones playing towards B, were able to spot that aggressive rotation coming in. And they just picked it apart and it was making its way through. They really counted what Dignitas was trying to do there, even picking up JMO's operator. So he's going to be good to have it yet again. There's some form of buy coming out of Dignitas. They have lost multiple rounds in a row, so they've got full loss bonus in their hands. They're just going to have to keep going for it. They do have to hunt this Fury. The Empress Sam's been really good with using them. Even from the shadows to execute onto a site like Hey Heaven or the back of the sea site. Mm -hmm. Especially the fact that it's supper that usually plants for this team. It would be quite likely that they use that. But JMO actually changing his position to C. Does it stop Immortals pushing aggressively though? At least they're throwing the opportunity or the offer that they could be playing aggressively, but it looks like it's just a little bit of abilities that are being thrown through. Gangs is going to use the Aldrum to scout out over through short A. Behind it, JC Standy will push forward, and Death will actually be tagged. So now an opportunity to maybe understand that there is at least one member over through long, and Immortals will back away. Here comes the hit for Dig, though. It's going to be right down B main. Shot up is here, but he's playing close. Recon Bolt coming through, trying to play inside the direct cover. He's able to respond to one, dismisses away. Beautiful play for Shot up to stay alive. And maybe another one up for him. Nope, it's Psalm to find the easy trait. Empress potentially going to come through for Psalm. JMO watching one angle with just the operator. But with the spike not being planted yet, Immortals are so hard focused on B main, the luck. they might not see death coming from behind. This could be a free kill. Keep your eye on the death. No, it's no. Gengsu who has the timing to turn around and find the kill. Psalm with another Last kill. But he will be traded away. It's just down to Super 1v3. Make it a 1v2. Bates the shrouded exactly. step, gets an angle, but the tailwind comes through, and now the left. neural depth is out, and Supa's position will be very understood. One dark cover to play with, and with the double peak coming out, Immortals will take the sixth round. We didn't really get to see Depth's perspective there on the lurk. He had the opportunity to get the frag. I don't know if he waited to just see if he could get as much intel before pulling the trigger. He could have even tried to knife him at that point. You really don't know. But Immortals, the Spidey Sense kicked in at the right time, turned around, made sure that they deal, dealt with him. Dignitas have to save on this one. Six rounds in a row for Immortals. Four ultimates on the attack. It's a bit of a, a little buy coming through with some of the Sheriffs. You might even see Odorous pulling out this Bladestorm. But he's had pretty little impact so far on this attack as they're going to be executing onto A. But look at the push through for Immortals. Nothing B main. No information at C long. Pending that gangster can just stay alive. And maybe even read a ton of information with this Aldrone. This long flank coming through from the back for Immortals might just be everything. You have to respond to this if you're dig. JC Stata will give up his position. Odorous with one. That's beautiful. But he says, wait a second. That's not JC Stanny. Let me get the second peek. Almost able to connect past the tailwind away to stay safe. Dig trying to get the spike down. But it's actually going to be baited over as it's going to be a play over Ooh. to C. So all of these members for Dig on the A side are going to be a little bit trapped up here. They're completely entrapped by every single instance as they're still JC yeah. Danny playing through A main. There's two players that are outside B link. And as JC finds another kill, Supa has to essentially solo clutch this. Oh, he does actually get the kill onto JMO, but he's got a gauntlet in front of him. The From the Shadows is going to be used on to C. This is all over the place at this point. Gangster actually gets us players still on the A site. Super with the operator is going to peek around, but Gangster closes that distance. That was a five head round if I've ever seen one. It was like chess pieces trying to move around. But Immortals, they knew that the majority of Dignitas tasks were still on the A site. So they were like a picket line. They just didn't let them cross at all. Really well played from the defenders. And this is just dominant from Immortals thanks. at this point. I don't know if it's a five head play or a two head play. I mean, it's one of those things that you have to respect the creativity from Dig to try to essentially bait Immortals on. But Immortals never commit to trying to retake the A site. And like you mentioned, Dignitas are essentially stuck between a rock, a hard place, and an even harder place. But it was just an eco round, so let's not get too excited here as now all of a sudden Dignitas will have 100 Fury and Empress and weapons to play with going into round number 8. A round which, at this point, you have to cleanly take the back half of this first uh, offensive round here for them. I mean, going down anything beyond 5-7 would be not great news for you. Jayma will have to give up his angle as the Recon Bolt will also scout him out. Oh. <laughs> He's going to have to forfeit the C site completely, actually. That's going to lead to a free take for Dignitas. It's going to have to be onto Immortals to try to find a way to retake. So he executes for the most part from Dig, from what I've seen, have been pretty straightforward. 
JMO's position, given up by all three pulses of the recon ball. He's been really good at being able to avoid them, but can't do much that time. Shot up, nice play. Death has been lurking, but hasn't had too much success in it so far. Macker in this position is going to be faced off by Neptune, who is just holding W at this point. Trying to clear off. They did this before. They had a lot of people dedicated to see long The Immortals with bigger guns are going to do a similar play, just picking them apart bit by bit. The Empress is still available now from Sam. He has so many people lined up, he's going to stay in that same position. But again, Neptune is just going to keep moving forward. 8-0 now to Immortals. That's a brilliant challenge as well from Neptune. Just to know, even if I lose my life, no I just fear. have to make sure that nobody peaks the spike being diffused at least a halfway. No fear and three kills. He's 13 and two. Someone put a leash on him. He is out of control and dominating this matchup. And leading to an 8 0 tally in which Dignitas are going to force by here in round nine, knowing that they have to start taking rounds offensively if they want to even have a chance at this third map. Neptune's brain is as big as the planet. That's why they call him Neptune at this point. <laughs> Jeez, he's just absolutely playing around oh, it. Immortals no. again having the first word. A nice early Hunter's Fury is going to at least confirm a kill onto Maka, denying him the ability to use that nice. ultimate. Shallop has just been on fire so far. The confidence oh, that's man. oozing for his team, even Gangster with the Operator, immediately a five versus two, and Dignitas are looking out of it at this Last point. Uh, Death was lurking B main. He needed to find a second kill to keep things interesting. It's just down to Supa. And again, this is a force by round. But how many times have we seen Dignitas run this same offense? You four-man stack either towards C or towards A. You essentially let Death lurk in the middle of the map. And it's been pretty well figured out from Immortals. Granted, you have to give credit for the blind uh, Hunter Street to find a kill. But then after that, Dig still commit. There's just not a lot of fluctuation and adaptation from this Dignitas team at the moment, at least. For their offense, shot up coming from behind will find a free kill into Supa, and Immortals stay perfect. They're up 9-0, and another Empress has been earned. Odorous, 1-9. You can't really... You don't really want to pinpoint particular players when you are down this much. This is an all-around team falling apart kind of performance. Yeah. But there's been no real openings. Death has been shut down with the Lurk, but at least he's able to get frags and find some form of impact. But the way that Immortals are playing this defense, it's like they've completely turned it up a notch because we didn't even see this earlier when they played up against Spot Up. So this is just something else, or their style is completely countering what Dignitas want to do. And in the time that I'm talking, Shut Up gets another two. This is unreal from Immortals. I just don't even know what you do at this point if you're Dig. They do have some movement through C Garage that'll allow them an opportunity to maybe block a rotation. But again, Def has to find a couple of the kills. He just has to. Stanny, he's good for one. That's not good news. If you're a Dignitas fan, at least, shoulder peek. He's going to read the information that, yep, here is Def. No problem. JC says, I'll take care of it myself. <laughs> Sit down, go home. We want this close qualifier spot. JC Stanny for three, shot up two, and Immortals looking to finish off this first half to the tune of a 12-0 start. And this is the kind of play style that Immortals have been doing so well. It's just they know that lurking plays are happening. Even just a reload peak like that is just so confident and facing up on the spray. This is a team that is going into these close qualifiers one way or the other yeah. with so much confidence. We could see Dignitas turn it around in the other half, but I feel like they need to win these last two to really keep it in touch. They have a lockdown, they have a Hunter's Fury, but Death just dies straight away. Keep it in touch. I mean, this is as in touch as I am with like my in-laws. You just don't see him outside of maybe Thanksgiving or Christmas, and that's only occasionally. There is this... Even if they take these last two rounds, they're still going to be pretty hard-pressed to find a way to have just as good, if not better, of a defensive half, depending on how things go. I mean, Immortals are just straight out fragging. Empress pops. Psalm, nice shots to respond to. But JC Stanny, though, up for one. Second one nearby. It's JMO who will be trusted to find that kill. And then through the outside of the dark cover, there's the follow-up. Neptune will clean things up. And Immortals, 11 to nothing. Last and this is looking pretty half. solid for them. I mean, you go back to the fact that they finished top 32 in the Nerd Street Gamers Open Qualifier. They missed out on the close qualifiers then. They will not be in that same boat here. Pending they could just clean this one up and then win a pistol. 
Dignitas had a 13-0 against Sentinels not too long ago. Snuff yeah. Them out. I think it was even on this map, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Uh, it was on um it was on somewhere else. We'll get in in a second. This is two in their very short lifespan. They could be on the horizon. You don't really want to jinx it, but I, I, I'm happy to jinx it because I want Dignitas to come back as a neutral. Death is the one that gets that first blood. The forces at B clearly heard me. Shot up is able to trade it out at least, and Sam able to get Neptune. There is openings happening across the map for Dignitas, and now the From the Shadows is going to be used to just try and meet them on this site. Stanny does get caught out. I like the play, and it's the last round, so you've got to use these ultimates one way or another. It's going to be interesting to see how JMO reacts to this. It's now one versus three. Let's see how Shot Up does. Spike will be planted with this. Spike planted. You've got Odorous, who's actually all the way lurking at mid. Beautiful paranoia. The timing is exquisite. And some will make sure that they don't go up with a goose egg in Switching the first size. half. But one to 11 to tally. And now all of a sudden, Dignitas moving to the defense. I mean, you've got to be perfect. I mean, literally perfect at this point in time. Out. And just based on this tally that you're seeing right there, Odorous is one and 11. Makalov, who we praised his Sova gameplay on Ascent, is 3-12. and 12, And Supa, who individually took over the conversation when this roster was first announced, he's only 3-11. and 11. Mistake on the 13-0. I don't think it was Dig. No. It doesn't matter anyway. It's not happening. It might have been spot up because we had them today, and it is currently like 1 a.m. my time. So always nice to sort of rely on that. The Dignitas, I, if, it's fair to say that this is a must-win pistol round for them. Oh, absolutely. Otherwise, you're forced buying in, which is not strange for Dig. They've done it before, and they've been successful with it. But yeah, you absolutely have to win this pistol. Nice shot. Headshot will connect into JMO. Odor is able to stay alive. Recognizes the threat of more. And with this, it looks like, again, Immortals, even though they've been red on this player, looking like they might just hard commit. Yeah, maybe not. Backing away now, reconsidering, but with 60 seconds, they have to make a call. It looks like it's going to be to B. I'm going to try and meet them. Everybody's still alive. If not, be beaten on either side. Sam trying to keep his composure, but the updraft is good from JMO. Def can at least get a couple, including that trade, onto him. <laughs> Trying to find an angle, find something at this point, but the spike hasn't been planted yet. They have it dropped down, but Gangster's gonna be in a one versus two. Death rotates around, some good play. The Dignitas have a long way to go, but they're in the right direction at least. A chuckle there for a moment. You see Gangsta shopping for a ghost on the floor in the middle of a 1v3 there for a moment. But the best win round does come through. So Dignitas not out of it yet. It would have to be incredible still. And you really need grenade. participation for Makalov and Odorous. That has to change, and it has to change now. If you can get Odorous an operator early, that'd be great. Makalov, if you can continue to find value with the recon bolts like he had previously in Ascent, that would be even better. And meanwhile, you still have to consider how do you shut down go. Immortals when you've got Shot Up and Neptune playing as well as they have so far. And so now it's going to be down to Immortals off the pistols. They're looking to hard stack over to A again early, but there is defensive pressure here for Dig. Three members that are in the mix. JMO the first one through. Tailwinding on. Makloff is good for one. And Solomon Odorous will combine for a couple behind this. That'll be a clean hold for Dig. No spike plant coming through. And Immortals didn't feel the need to force up or anything. It was just ghosts at most. Full buy is going to be coming in for them. No ultimates really coming online either, but... It's fair to say that there's a deficit for Immortals that they can, you know, take the foot off the pedal a little bit. But the interesting factor is if they can keep this momentum going, then question marks are going to start raising Immortals' head. And we've seen a lot of teams dwindle from a big lead. You look at Ambox, right? They were, a, what, 11-1 up on one of their games the and lost 13-11? Yeah. yeah. It happens. And I think this was on Haven too, right? So the option is there for Dig, but they have to play this perfectly. I'll drone for Immortals coming over through B main. We'll connect onto Saul. Last Leer will come out. Superman is actually also considering popping a paranoia through C garage. Not going to be needed yet. 
Spike was never a part of this hit, so Shot Up is going to lurk through B mid while the rest of the Immortals try to posture for what looks to be a C hit. Defensively, Def is going to be there, and he's got a lot of his utility placed aggressively in this choke point. So now it's just down to what comes down to the timing of this play. Information is going to be red. Here come Immortals quickly through. Dirt cover being sent out. Recon bolt dealt with. Alarm bot is going to be there. Def is good for one. Def is good for two. And you think that might just be enough? Because here comes Psalm on the way in. And all the meanwhile, Shot Up, who was lurking through B main, is going to be late to this. And as JC Stanny falls with a spike through C long, now it's just down to Shot Up. And now his position will be known in this what would be 1v4. There have been some really good reads on this defense. Shot Up is going to do what he can at this point, though. Nobody's going to peek him. Waiting out. The spike is so far away. He's going to use that to dismiss, but he's got to take the fight. He actually does Wait. it because Super had to reload. He has no idea at this point where JMO's going to be playing from. Sorry, Odorous. He's just wrapping around yet again. He's got to play for C. Is he going to expect him around this corner, though? That's the question. Lear comes through. Odorous. Corner holds it nicely. Beautiful read in the luxury of knowing whether the spike was dropped over towards C long allows Odoris to know exactly what the time that yeah Here. if you're shot up this is an incredible moment for you but you still have to get through me and find a way to plant you don't really have time to search for the kill and that was just enough of an advantage for dig to come through and they're now on four in a row and with this immortals are gonna have to go to another light by round it's another case of they don't need to force it although they're considering Trying to buy what they can whilst being able to buy fully in the next round. They did a lot of damage to Dig there. So long as Dig can't keep a buffer up on their economy, they're going to be happy taking some of these fights, making it scary for them. They just need two rounds. They won't care how they get it, whether they get it with a flawless or whether they get it in a dirty little round like that. Sam is immediately forced off this angle. It's going to be playing to face on the site, but this is a lot of space that Immortals can yeah. use. Super playing where JC standing would normally be set up at. Backside of C. Immortals once again showing force, but not committing off of it. You still have shot up that's lurking, but they seem to know. You see those defensive pings that are coming through that, hey, C garage is open. They threw some utility through, and there's probably a member lurking there, but will they expect two members lurking? Shot up is not going to delete the leer. He's just going to play close enough to the door to see if he gets challenged. So all of this for Immortals is banking on the fact that you can cleanly get into A, and these Lurkers can find kills in the backside. Shot Up's going to make his move. The timing here has to be good in this 1v1, and it's not going to be there. Super able to lock down the headshot. And now Neptune, his position will be revealed as an Operator shot came through for Odorous. And yeah, you're under the A side if you're Immortals, but your two win conditions of these flanks have been denied. So you've got to win these gunfights from the front, and that you're going to be pretty hard-pressed to do with just pistols. One enemy remaining. Neptune's been locked down in this position. Zodorus spotted him out. They kept tabs on him at least at that point. The spike does get planted for Immortals, but really that's the only saving grace. They didn't do enough economic damage to Dignitas. Not at all. They're now starting to build up ultimates. Maka's one way, one away, sorry, from getting Hunter's Fury. Lockdown's good. The Empress, Sam's been using them on the regular at least. They're still building up for Neptune and the rest of Immortals too. And Odorous has got four kills this half at least. They haven't been incredibly key to opening up some of the rounds. At least I don't think they've been like First Bloods, but he's starting to feel more confident. Dignitas is starting to ride into this a little bit more. This could be an exceptional end to this map considering how it's going. Hey, Dig win this round. They're not just on six. They're also looking good for seven. And then we've got ourselves a ball game all of a sudden. He Death said playing it now. aggressive. Aldrone going to be scouting out for the no, offense through A long. Hunter's Fury going to come through for Gangsta. Ambitious shots not going to connect. Now he's got to throw the needle between teammates. And yeah, nothing going to come through here. Odorous, I believe, has gone in top with the operator. Nice angle being held. And Makalov trying to help out. Def caught up a little bit too aggressively. Paranoia. Lear's coming through. Makalov deals with it. Can he find it? He kills those. The question. No. It's Immortals onto the site now with a 5e3. But Odorous is able to find two and nearly gets a third. Dignitas also committed the Empress. But Song can't find anything with it. It's just down to Super for a 1v3. He's going to go quickly. But Dinks is watching it in Immortals on match point. And Immortals 
had to throw everything Match there. Point. They used so many ultimates to, to break on free. Dignitas had to respond in kind. No more second chances for Dignitas. They can still buy. Luckily, winning four rounds in a row on this half has allowed them that luxury. But no slip-ups. Immortals, a straightforward execute that went well even after fluffing the lines from Gangsters Hunters Fury that caught very little. It was the aggressive facing play that provided an opening. And C's looking to be the place that Immortals are looking to hit. Interesting they're going to forfeit the operator over to Gangsta. Sticking with JMO having the ability to go into a blade storm. Maybe they're going to use this, but Dignitas are going to get aggressive yeah. through the middle of the map. They send two through B, one through C garage. Death locking things down with the operator. We'll find one. Looking for the quick scope. Not going to happen. JMO into the blade storm. He will find one kill. Would have to be extremely clutch. The spike, by the way, still dropped that C long. Neptune's working through garage as he finds a kill on his Nupa. Still doable. Trap going to be sent out. Will be deleted. Neptune's going to understand the opportunity. JMO with the operator able to find another kill. We're 2v2 now all of a sudden. The big thing, though, is Immortals have to back out of C to play for the spike. It looks like they're going to commit Neptune to do just that. And it's difficult for Dignitas to get a read on this. They're actually splitting up. If they spike. get isolated, that would be a big loss for them. They're just trying to scout some information. In fact, they're more than happy to give Immortals a wide berth if they are going to plant on C. But they are spreading. We saw this on Ascent. It has oh. to come in. Unbelievably clutch now, but Hunter's Fury is going to be good to at least cut across. But yet again, it doesn't tag onto anything at all. It's just a little bit narrow. But Odorous is on a flank that they might not expect. You know, Odorous is going to have an isolated 1v1 here. Neptune's going to read the footsteps. So coming back to this, it's going to be JMO. The shot initially misses. Now the wide feet from Neptune. He's going to find a couple of connections, and he does confirm the kill. Last one left alive is going to be Magna. They know exactly where he's positioned, but he's able to find one. JMO misses the shot, goes to the Blade Storm. Backa keeping Dignitas alive in a 1v2 clutch. Oh, this is getting down to the wire, and I never thought I'd say that when it's looking like it's 12-6. Never Dignitas had that pretty much on lockdown, it felt. It felt that they were in a position where they had it comfortably, but JMO with the Blade Storm made that unbelievably close. It even forced Dignitas to bring out some of these ultimates, even this fight looking so scrappy, odorous. Face palms into a wall, but some nice play from Maka and a missed shot from JMO. Tragic from Immortals. They're bringing Dignitas back into this. But they're going to stay composed. They can still afford and they have ultimates. They just need one. Don't put so much weight on that statement. It's making me nervous, Ryan. <laughs> Odorous being aggressive with the operator through a short. Information and the connection. That's Neptune down. And also, how about this? Immortals are trying to full stack over to B. Psalm is here, and the setup for death is also fully fleshed out. They've got double nano storm, and they've got the sentry turret that their death is good for two. Psalm wants the challenge and actually gives up a double to JMO. Odor is able to respond for eventually the trade, and JC Stanley will be forced to have to try to consider how he wants to clutch up a 1v3. There's no utility on the A site that's going to give Dig the information that he's heading this way. And even then, he has to From the Shadows if he wants to bait it around, but probably not the time or place to be able to play around now. He is considering it, though. Actually, yeah, he is smoking off C. He's going to plant onto the back of sight, bait it across. Like I mentioned before, Dig, don't hear the sound effect that Immort, like, at this point, JC Stanley is over on A, but despite being planted, it's going to be the nearest indication at that point. He's going to try and play aggressively in to face them, but Mac is going to clear it up. So there's seven for Dig. Immortals, I can't say for sure, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to be the full purchase into this next round. It should be at least a light buy. So there's opportunity to get onto eight. But the problem is Immortals are, again, going to build up this ultimate economy just a touch. You've got two that are already ready. You've got four out of six for JMO. JC Stanny, of course, just using the From the Shadows will not have that for a while. But Gangsta's getting closer and closer to having another uh, Hunter's Fury. And... They're going to go into Stingers, a couple of Sheriffs, and maybe a Marshal as Gangsta continues to kind of bait us with potentially going into it. It looks like he will hold it, so it's going to require an incredible right shot from him to make use out right of it. Here. And Dignitas are looking to get aggressive for an A-long peak here. Operator not in the mix, and it looks like the Recon Bolt will allow them forward. Spam shots coming through, nothing going to be found with this. And you also got to keep in mind that Def is not set up for C this time. He's going to be set up for A. 
So it's going to be trusted that Odorous could find kills with some, of which they both walk away with one, but through the dark cover, potentially. Odorous backing away, sees the gun, but JC Stanny still finds the kill, and he'll make his way on the site. Psalm for a trade. He will be good for Neptune, who is hoping for JC Stanny's response. And Dink's the no chance there. Dignitas still alive in this one, just down four. Money is going to be good for Immortals for full buy. They have shot up Empress, but unlike Sam at this point, he doesn't really use it all that often. First Blood is going to be key, especially if Neptune's around to use the Nero Theft to show up how Dignitas are playing, but both teams have been exceptional on the defense. That's how we got into this scenario. Lockdown Empress on the side of Dignitas. I don't want to say anything else. I don't want to ruin it. Patient play from IMT, but not the same for Dig. They get aggressive through C long, and Odorous finds that kill. Does Supa give away his position at all? Because if that's a good read from Immortals, they should know that they've got numbers for A. But again, the setup is here for death. Sentry turret dealt with. Nano Storms will come out. That'll delay the you plant on default, at least for a bit. And the lockdown also going to be committed. No chance for Hunter Sphere to deny it. So you got to get the spike planted, or do you? Considering it maybe a touch long, and JMO is going to have to use the Tailwind to get away from this. Everyone's going to be stuck in this back corner, but he's at least going to be avoiding the detain for now. But the retake for Dig will allow them onto the site. Big peak right here, but no, it's Odorous for the kill. 5v3. Also have the Empress coming through. Odorous will also try to commit as they know they need to win this round. It's going to be a Blade Storm out. He'll make use for one kill, looking for another, but Danks is able to respond. But while all this is occurring, Super was able to hold, and the spike will be defused. Dig also cleaning up the kills will now be within three and still streaking. Immortals, can they buy? Are they going to buy at this point? Shot up wants to. He's even happy to go with half armor because he does have that Empress. He has that little bit of luxury. It seems that they're going for this. Suddenly, Immortals are in a position where if they lose this round, Dignitas are back in this. What are we watching, Ryan? <laughs> what are we watching? Hunter's Fury is going to be key for Maka. They used the Killjoy ultimate. It had a lot of success, but it certainly didn't look convincing from Dig there. That could have gone very wrong. Now the Bladestorm is going to be used on the side of JMO. They're going to be splitting onto A. These executes have looked a lot more convincing onto this site. No other with the operator is going to be holding on to mid. It's just Maka that's going to be keeping an air out at least. But they're going to be playing retake for this one. No JMO moving forward. Able to at least scout out nobody was sitting in the inside portion of this window. Watch the long flank for Supa. Hunter's really going to come through and it actually is able to find a connection and a kill behind that. Odor is able to get the operator in line. And oh no, here we go. You've got Immortals who are going to commit for the Empress. No Shot up going to be trusted to find a couple. Hunter's Fury now coming through very early for Immortals. This is from A short for Gangsta. Shot up's able to find one kill. Actually able to find himself another. Knows there's a player up top. This is a 3v2 in favor of Immortals. But Zalm and Maka find kills. Last one left is Gangsta. He gets tagged up heavy down to 2 HP. The Shark Third comes through. Maka off again. Clutching up and that will be Dig now on 10. Immortals are going to have to save. We could be looking at overtime pending. Dig can stay clean defensively. 11-1 up to 12-10. And this is like you mentioned around that. I mean, when it comes to loss bonus, Immortals have it. They're still going to be trying force. to buy up. But this funds is going to break at some point. And if they lose this, Dignitas. You would imagine Immortals would have to yeah. save on that round. And we could be going to overtime. This is how unrealistic this game has got at this point main thing is ultimates being used shut up dedicating the empress and a lot of ultimates halfway to being online for dignitas but nothing to go just yet yeah, and apologies for me again the round being as close as it was with the spike that is a full buy coming through for immortals the cash was pretty low at the beginning but they're able to full afford shot up Ooh, almost a 1v1 here in which his weapon was seen and Consideration being thrown out from Supa saying, this is my garage, friend. Why don't you go ahead and back away? But it looks like actually Shadow's going to wait for a little bit of help, and they will actually triple commit to taking C Garage. Now onto the site. Quickly they go. Not even reading for information whatsoever. Dignitas are going to give away some space. Death going to lock things down with a lot of his utility, but can't find any elimination. Gangsta another. 
This will be now a neuro effect, plus also the spike likely going down, but Psalm's able to find a kill. It's going to stall things for a touch. It's going to allow now all of a sudden Dignitas to get here. But Odorous, without having the ability of a Blade Storm, will have to find ways to get kills with an Operator. JC Stanny was trying to check things out with it from the shadows. Makalov on the site! He finds two! He's gonna get a third! The fourth one right around the backside! It's Psalm for the kill! And Dignitas will not go out without a fight! 11-12! And now Immortals will be in a pretty difficult spot economically. You can see just how excited Maka is at that point, and this was not an easy retake to go for. Maka being brave, pinging this spot, he knows exactly where they're playing. And they even dedicate the ultimate on Immortals from the Shadows to be around this corner. The quick reaction, the quick flick, and he had no right getting that kill onto JMO. Dignitas. Unbelievable. Another buy from Immortals. It's looking awkward, though. There is a Hunter's Fury from Maka from that amazing play that he just had. Is it going to happen? It happened to Anbox. It may happen now to Immortals. Odorous again playing aggressive through the sewers at eight. Shot up lurking mid. Immortals looking to start swinging the spike over towards C. This time, the defensive setup of death is in B, not at C whatsoever. So Soup is going to have a huge role to fulfill here. But Psalm finds first blood. There is a trade. So the C garage still contested. And depending on the timing here, JC Standy takes another big kill out of it. Two more trying to contest through. JC Standy for a third, not going to get the fourth. 2v3 advantage tilting in favor of Immortals. Still nearby, though, is death. And again, no utility for him to play with. Can he catch a player during reload? No shot up is there for the help. Everything is down to Odorous in this operator. The only opportunity for him to find a weapon would be in the C garage. The shock darts will chunk him up. Odorous would have to clutch a 1v3 with an op and 12 health. And it's not looking good here, Ryan. I don't know how he's going to be able to do this. So much utility. He's giving away his position. He's having to smoke himself off and hope that somebody pushes towards him. There's no reason for Immortals, but Gangster. Attackers win. It was looking very scary from Immortals. 11-1 up and just winning 13